Hello, Feminité du Bois. This is the original way Feminité du Bois was packaged by Shiseido. It's now included in Serge Lutin's line. And uh, he's just brought it over. He used to be at Shiseido. Now he's doing his own thing. He's got his own scene going on. Um, this one, I first smelled this in the 90s. And I remember thinking that it was way too kind of personal and womanly. And I, I couldn't really carry it off. And um, and I smelled it more recently, and I thought, hey, this is the thing for me. I love this thing. Kind of cedary. Um, there's a lot of spices in there. There's cumin. Some people don't really like cumin in a fragrance because they think it smells like uh, sweaty armpits. Personally, I like a little cumin. I like a little sweaty armpit. It, it, it brings a fragrance to life. Um, there's also kind of a prune note to it, so it's very dense, like stewed prunes and um, very sensual. What can I say? Ah, Santa Maria Novella, Aqua de Cuba. This is technically a man's fragrance. Now I like to skip and shimmy over those sort of gender distinctions because it's just, it's just silly to say that a fragrance has a gender. Um, Aqua uh, de Cuba is tobacco and, um, and uh, leather. And some people say it smells like um, I don't want to say this is a family program. Anyway, um, personal emissions of a masculine nature. How is that for tiptoeing through the tulips? Um, I can't really attest to that, but I will say that it has a very, um, kind of, it smells like honey. It just it smells like honey and tobacco and, uh, um, it has, it's a, a unusually sensual, but not in that usual um, dense ambery way. It, it's more like it's something that came from Mother Earth and it blended into your skin and turned you into a god or goddess of sexiness. Why am I trying to prove how sexy I am through smells? That's what I'm getting from my talk. I, I didn't think I was trying to do that, but maybe I should listen to what I'm trying to tell myself. Ah, lovely, lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. This is the liquid satin version of lovely, which um, lovely, as you may or may not know, is a very uh, light and pretty musky floral. And, um, but I like it in the, um, in this oil because I find that it kind of melds in with my, my, skin a little better just it doesn't just kind of sit there and go hi um florals woods here we are let's do it this is uh the oils i find are a little more subtle and easier to live with hmm. l'oiseau de nuit by parfumerie generale this little number here is uh, kind of, you know, I wasn't really sure about this one. This is a little bit of an impulse buy. I was in London and I, I admit I went on a, a spree. There was a spree. Uh, there was a binge. There was a situation and a few untoward moments. And L'Oiseau de Nuit was um, kind of an afterthought. And I think I'm happy with it. Night bird. There's a little bit of French going on for you. Um, people say that it's a leather, but to me it's really syrupy. It's quite sweet and um, very ambery. But once you get through all the, the syrup and the sugar, it does dry down to almost a leather, but it's not like a hologram. It's not like you have, you know, you've got your face strapped to a saddle. Nothing like that, okay? Nothing funny. Uh, Unirose by Frederic Mall. This uh, is one of the perfumes that I stocked probably for a good six months. I'm usually like that with fragrance. It's like big game. I don't just rush in there. I gotta see how it works, see how, you know, the behavior, what it's gonna do when I get close to it. And um, I give it a few test runs. I get samples from the store. I force people to share their bottles with me. And I finally came to the conclusion that Une Rose is for me. It's just a beautiful, big, gigantic skyscraper of a rose with this really 
dense, woody, truffly aspect to it. So it's almost like you're smelling the rose, not from on top of the rose, but from in the ground underneath and coming out into the rose. You become one with the rose, with Eun Rose. Lullabo, Labdenum 18. This one is a very powdery, sensual, um, animally fragrance. Probably could describe quite a few of my perfumes like that, but this one is kind of like an updated version of um, uh, Musk Ravageur, which is over here. It's by the same perfumer. Um, oh, no, that's not it. Come to mommy. Maurice Roussel is the perfumer behind Musk Ravageur, and this is from the Frederick Mall line. And he also did Lullabo Labdenum 18. Um, and this shares a quality of being very um, grr, animalistic. And uh, this one's a little bit more cinnamony. And I have it in the oil form because I like to rub oils into myself. Mm. This is an old favorite of mine. It's by Ultima 2 called Sheer Scent. And this was, um, this is a real nostalgia time machine for me. This, this is back from a time when I, this was the only perfume in my collection. So I guess it's not really a collection when you only have one perfume. Um, and I love this fragrance and I would still be using it if they made it today, dumb old Revlon, discontinued continuing it. Um, it's, it's kind of a, it's not a floral fragrance at all. It's uh, leathery and a little bit violet, like violet leaves. Reminds me somewhat of the original Christian Dior Fahrenheit for men. Very sensual. Ooh, look at these pretty ones here. Ooh, pretty. These are by Solange Azaguri Partridge, and she is a jewelry designer who does beautiful, crazy, amazing uh, necklaces and rings and earrings, all sorts of gorgeous things that cost more than your head and mine combined. And she's branched out into fragrances. This one is called uh, Cosmic, and she gave this one to me, and I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. so. All I've been able to do is play with the bottle and admire how pretty it is. Um, the other one I have worn and I love it and it's called Stoned. Get it? Double entendre with rocks that are in jewelry and I don't know what else happens when you're stoned. But this one is very, uh, it's kind of like a combination of a few different classic oriental fragrances. It has a, a very ambery, uh, quality and there's a little bit of citrus in there and it's very powdery and kind of sweet it it's a um, uh, all things to all people oriental if if the people you are is a lady who likes powder puff orientals and maybe that's just me who knows but a beautiful bottle and it smells fantastic on Oh, this is another perfume gift. I was very honored to receive this by the perfumer herself, Linda Pilkington, who is the perfumer behind Ormond Jane. And this is Tolu, the pure parfum version of it. Tolu is based on Tolu balsam, which is a Peruvian resin that is, mm, it's very, it's kind of spicy, it has a almost a cinnamon-like quality to it. And, and it's also very, um, vanillic, so you almost smell edible, but not quite. I don't like to smell completely like you could stick a fork in me and uh, have a mouthful, because I, I think that's just a bridge too far. I think that's, that's crossing a line of sensual pleasures. I like to just smell almost edible. This one is a new uh, member of the family, Guerlain's Attrape Coeur, Heart Catcher. And uh, this smells like a classic Guerlain from the 20s, but it's not. It was actually made in the late 90s. And uh, Atrape Cur is violets. It's very sweet and, and heady. It's violets and amber and, um, 
and, and very floral, but in a way that actually is not represented by a lot of the fragrances in my collection. I, I don't have a lot of violet uh, floral fragrances. So um, this little beauty came in and, and filled that space in my life. This is me being a little bit of a teenager. Again, uh, Juliet has a gun, Lady Vengeance. I, uh, this is a little um, kind of light and sweet for me, but I think that for people who are um, younger and want to start experimenting with things that are kind of smoky and patchouli, patchouli-ish and dark and dense, this is a good starting point, Lady Vengeance. Um, it's smoke and roses and patchouli and there's almost a little caramelly butteriness to it so it's it's very accessible um, and it makes me happy this is one that i i oftentimes will just come in to my grouping of perfumes hello perfumes i'll say and then i just pick up this one and sniff and feel happy like this stay tuned for more of my perfume collection videos there's a lot.